بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از انجینئر وقاص ہارون ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیل یو ہاؤ کین یو کیلکولیٹ دی اسٹیشنس اینڈ دی ایلیویشنس آف دی ورٹیکل کر سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ فرام دی ایگزامپل دس ایگزامپل ہیز بین ٹیکن فرام دی بک پرنسپلس آف دی ہائی وے انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹریفک انالیسس ریٹن بائی فریڈ ایل مینرنگ ان دس ایگزامپل اے سکس ہنڈریڈ فیٹ ایکول ٹینجنٹ سیک ورٹیکل کرو ہیز دی پی وی سی ایٹ اے اسٹیشن ون سیونٹی اینڈ دا ایلیویشن ون تھاؤزینڈ فیٹ دا انیشیل گریڈ از مائنس تھری پوائنٹ فائیو پرسینٹیج اینڈ دا فائنل گریڈ از پوائنٹ فائیو پرسینٹیج ڈیٹرمن دی اسٹیشنگ اینڈ دی ایلیویشنس آف دی پی وی آئی دا پی وی ٹی اینڈ دا لوئسٹ پوائنٹ آن دی کرو سو ان دس ایگزامپل یو ہیو ٹو کیلکولیٹ سکس پیرامیٹرس تھری اسٹیشنگ اینڈ تھری ایلیویشنس اسٹیشنگس آف دی پی وی آئی پی وی آئی مینس پوائنٹ آف دی ورٹیکل انٹرسیکشنس پی وی ٹی مینس پوائنٹ آف دی ورٹیکل ٹینجنٹس اینڈ دس پی وی سی مینس پوائنٹ آف دی ورٹیکل کرو سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اسٹیشنگ ایلیویشنس انیشیل گریڈ اینڈ فائنل گریڈ از آلریڈی گیون ان اوور ایگزامپل انیشیل گریڈ از آلسو ڈینوٹیڈ بائی دی سمبل بی اینڈ ایلیویشن آف دی پی وی سی از ڈینوٹیڈ بائی سمبل سی This G1 and G2 is already given. It means that the stationing and the elevation is already known. You have to calculate this stationing and this elevation, this stationing and the elevations of the PVT. And in the last, you have to calculate the lowest point on the curve. It means that this stationing and the elevations is also unknown. Length of the curve is also is all, uh, known in this example and it is equal tangent. sec vertical curve so it means that half curve is located at the left side and the half curve is located right side so 150 feet is located at the left side similarly it 150 feet also located on right side so you want to you have to calculate these six parameters so let's start our first parameters that how can we calculate the stationing of the pva stationing of the pva is equal to the stationing of the pvc plus this half curve length is uh, the length of the curve is 600 feet so you can easily uh, calculate the half of the value that is 300 feet so this value can also be written as three stations so your stationing of the pva will be can be written as 170 plus 3 it will becomes 173 stations similarly you can calculate the stationing of the pvt that is the stationing of the pva plus right side of the curve length stationing of the pva as we have already calculated in our previous slide that is 173 this l by 2 is 300 feet that is written as three stations so your stationing of the pvt is 176 so now we will calculate the elevation of the pvi elevation of the pvi equation is elevation of the pvc plus grade multiplied by the distance between the pvc and the pvi elevation of the pv is already given that is 1000 feet and the initial roadway grade is given that is minus 3.5 and stationing between the pvc and pvi is already known that is 300 feet that or it is a distance between the pvc and pvi so elevation by default it is show the sec vertical curve so elevation value should be lower from your pvc point so it also indicates that your value is right because elevation of the pvc is 1000 feet so elevation of the pv is 989.5 feet similarly you can calculate the elevation of the pvt that is the elevation of the pv plus grade plus means that uh, it is a g2 and the stationing of the pv between pva and pvt it means the distance between the pva and pvt you will directly uh, put the values in above equations uh, elevation of the pva you have already calculated in your previous slide that is 989.5 feet this plus sign shows that it is going upward and this this is the difference between the pvc and pva that is 300 feet or three stations so your elevation of the pvt is 991 feet so the point is how can you calculate the lowest point on the curve you can calculate the lowest point on the curve by seeing the values of the uh, gradients that is uh, g1 and g2 if your initial and final grades are available in different signs then you can find the lowest point of the vertical curve by using uh, the first derivative of the parabolic function you can say that 
uh, your first uh, derivative of the parabolic function will become equal to the zero and by using that scenario you can find out this stationing and uh, of the lowest point on the curve by putting that value of the x in your main equation you can easily find out the lowest point of on the curve so let's start in this example a is unknown but a is known indirectly that is that a is the difference between the two gradients so g2 and g1 is already known you you can um, by you can use this equation by putting the values g2 is 0.5 g1 is minus 3.5 l is 600 feet if you are using a uh, value in terms of foot per station then you can then the uh, there is no need to convert that into some other units you will directly place that value similarly you can use the value of b that is 3.5 a is also in uh, gradient form b is also in uh, foot per stations by putting the value in that equation 2x plus b um, will become equal to zero you can calculate the distance of the uh, stations so basically x shows how far your lowest point of the curve is located to your starting point basically this x will give you the indication that your point is located uh, at a distance 525 feet from your pvc station you will directly use that value stationing of the low point is 170 plus 5 plus 25 that shows the decimals 5.25 that it means that this point is 5 station and this 25 means that is your chaining so you will add this value into this 175 plus 25 stations so you can say that 175 plus 25 is the station point by using that value you can calculate the your lowest point on the curve To determine the elevation of the lowest point on the curve you will directly put the values that is y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c the value of a is given you have already calculated this value no need to convert it in other units b is also uh, given in uh, foot per station this is already in station so station station will be directly cut so no need to convert it further and c value is already given in thousand feet so your this equation shows that your on the answer will directly will lies into the foot so that your lowest point lies at a distance or the elevation 990.81 feet thank you